Welcome to our channel. Before we get started make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel. Top 10 places to visit in Prague. So make sure to watch the full video. Prague has been nicknamed the city of a thousand spires for good reason. As you glance over its 1,100 year old skyline, you'll be rewarded with splendid views of lovely domed churches and soaring old towers that combine to make Prague one of the world's architectural gems. Everywhere you look, find examples of Gothic, Baroque, Renaissance, and Art Nouveau styles. The city, providing a dramatic contrast to the sturdy old Prague castle. 1. Discover Wenceslas Square. A highlight of Prague's new town, Nové Mesto, district and area that grew out of the city's need to expand as it prospered is the wonderful Wenceslas Square, Václav's namesake, home to the National Museum and numerous other architectural treasures. Named after the patron saint of Bohemia, whose statue can be seen here, Wenceslas Square was created in the 14th century during the reign of Charles IV as a horse market and has since become one of the city's most important public spaces, still used for demonstrations and celebrations alike. A visit today is a fun experience and undoubtedly one of the top free things to do in Prague, and will introduce visitors to some of the city's best dining and restaurant experiences, as well as great shopping. 2. Explore the treasures at the National Museum. Fresh from a seven-year-long renovation, the National Museum, Narodny Museum, in Prague is spread across a number of locations and houses numerous important collections representing a variety of fields. The entomology collection alone numbers more than 5 million specimens. The oldest museum in the Czech Republic, it was established in the early 1800s before moving to its current location in 1891. A particularly enjoyable highlight is the archaeology exhibit with its extensive collection of 1st and 2nd century Roman artifacts, along with numerous bronze and early Iron Age finds. 3. Stop by the Old Town Square and the Astronomical Clock. The historic center of Prague, the Old Town, Stare Mesto, is where you'll find the splendid Old Town Square, Star Mesk Namesty, one of the best places to begin exploring the city. Here, you'll find the Tin Church and the Clementinum, along with numerous other fine old churches, as well as splendid old architecture dating back as far as the 11th century, while the Jewish Quarter, Yezefov, is just a short walk north. A highlight is the Old Town Hall, Star Meska Rodnice, home to the wonderful early 15th century astronomical clock, Orlich. Each hour, it springs to life as the Twelve Apostles and other figures appear and parade in procession across the clock face. Other old town hall highlights are the Gothic doorway leading to its splendid interior with its art exhibits and displays, a chapel built in 1381, and an old prison. Be sure to make the ascent, by stairs or elevator, to the top of the old town hall tower for its fine views over Prague. 4. Visit the Clementinum and the National Library. The Clementinum, Clementinum, one of the largest collections of historic buildings in Europe, is home to the National Library of the Czech Republic. These beautiful Baroque buildings were originally part of a Jesuit college, and later came to house the Jesuit book collection, as well as the collection from the Carolina. The library eventually became the property of the state after the Jesuits were expelled, and the Clementinum became a public library in 1782 shortly after being constituted as the National Library. With more than 6 million books, the Clementinum's collection is huge and includes copies of every book published in the Czech Republic. A highlight is the exquisite Baroque Library Hall with its beautiful ceiling artwork, the 68-meter-tall astronomical tower with its spectacular views over Prague, and the splendid mirror chapel with its exquisite décor. 5. Enjoy free art at the Municipal House. The Prague Municipal House, Obekni Dum, is widely considered one of the finest examples of Art Nouveau in the city. Built in 1912, this splendid civic building is also home to one of Prague's most important, and largest, concert venues, Smetana Hall, and boasts numerous striking features, from its sumptuous facade with a large mural on the arch above the second-floor balcony, to the large dome that rests behind and above the arch. The interior is equally impressive and includes many fine stained-glass windows and important paintings. While English-language guided tours are available, including a chance to see otherwise closed ceremonial rooms, one of the best ways to enjoy this landmark is to take in a concert or sample its cafe, restaurants, and luxury boutique shops. 6. Spend a day at the Prague Zoo. Opened in 1931, the superb Prague Zoo, Zoologica Zarda HL. M. Prahi, 
is not only one of the top tourist attractions in the city, it also ranks among the world's top zoological parks. Located in the Troya suburbs just a short distance north of the city center, this 140-acre attraction is an especially fun outing for those traveling with kids. Highlights for younger children include a fun petting zoo, which offers pony rides and opportunities to feed the animals, and a large adventure playground. Along with its more than 4,200 animals representing some 650 species including many considered close to extinction the zoo is notable for its role in saving the native, and endangered, Chevalsky's horse. 7. St. Nicholas Church On picturesque little quarter square in the Old Town area stands St. Nicholas Church, Costal Svatejo Michaelis, one of Prague's newer churches. Built by Jesuits in the 18th century, it's a fine example of high Baroque and is notable for its splendid interior with its unique 19th century chandelier, as well as the large Baroque paintings by Czech artist Karl Skreta that adorn the huge cupola. Of particular note are the church's two historic organs, the oldest of which was built in 1745. The church also features a bell tower, which visitors are permitted to climb, from the top of which are great views over the church's huge dome and the old city. 8. People watch from the roof of the dancing house. The Dancing House, Tensishi Dum, Prague's most outstanding modern architectural creation, was built between 1992 and 1996 to designs by Frank Gehry. While the building consists largely of offices and a hotel, great views can be enjoyed from the top floor restaurant, a cafe is also located on the main level. 9. Spot Famous Names at the Olsony Cemetery Created in 1680 to accommodate Prague's many plague victims, the Olsony Cemetery, Olsanskerbidovi, served as the city's main burial ground for centuries and is the final resting place of countless victims of disease and war. Although his body was taken from Olsony Cemetery in 1973 to prevent his grave from becoming the site of organized protests, his coffin was returned in 1990. 10. Catch a performance at the National Theatre Idyllically perched on the banks of the River Vultava, Prague's National Theatre is a must-visit for lovers of the performing arts. Home to the country's top opera, ballet, and drama performances, the National Theatre was opened in 1881 as a symbol of Czech national identity and to promote the Czech language and culture. Despite a somewhat checkered past that saw the building destroyed by fire and even closed by the communists, this stunning theatre has undergone extensive renovations and stands as a monument to the city's rich talent and cultural significance. English language guided tours are available. Another Prague theatre of note is the Estates Theatre, Stavovsk Dievoldo, built in the late 18th century in neoclassical style and once a favourite of Mozart, who chose to premiere Don Giovanni here. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button. Also remember to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so you will be the first to know when we upload a new video. Thank you for watching.